So, new video already, and that's because I did this. Just like your refrigerator. And the way it works is one magnet is there. Uh, back here it looks kind of like this. So, one is higher than the other, and that wasn't originally intended. Um, what happened was, is I didn't realize until halfway through that this door, the bracket, the, the cross member here, is high enough I could fit one right there. But on this door, the, some genius decided uh, that uh, it's not going to fit there. So the members just mount, it's just different position, it's flat out different position. But it actually works out okay, because having it here actually is closer to the sensor. And if I hadn't realized that before, I probably would have mounted them both on the, on the actual member, and that would have, would have been okay. Because, you know, if you see, it's going to have to fit past this piece of wood here, so it'd be a little closer if it was there. But as you can see, it turns off just fine. You can see through the cracks door closed, door open, and uh, it's wired into my little breakout box, which is right there, and it's the brown wire, second from the left, Let's see if I can get a, it is this one right here, coming down, and it comes down here, right here, and it just goes over, and I decided to keep it simple and easy just because um, I already have enough wiring in here as it was, and I didn't want to have to like staple wires along the stand. I just feel like I don't want to drill into the stand or compromise the stand's integrity any more than I have to. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the other thing is, is I decided to not use the 24 volt apex to drive this, and that's because for some reason these strips wouldn't remember the last position. It's supposed to do that. And I tried it with the official power supply, and sure enough, it works fine. So, it they must be doing some magic in there. It's not the Apex's fault. It's the it's these lights, these LED lights. So I almost regret I just didn't get the white ones because then I probably could have just driven them from here, and it would have been fine. Um, but you can see I mounted the little power supply there, and um, honestly, I just reused the existing holes I had for the wires there. So. Uh, it wasn't too hard to mount it, and I kind of just, you know, did it the lazy way by reusing those holes, but, um, hey, why not? It kept it simple. Um, you know, for the most part, it's, it's working satisfactory, so, you know, I can open and close this, and it'll turn on and off every time. The problem was before is that, uh, when the Apex was driving it, sometimes it just wouldn't turn on, and in my last video, you could see at the very end when I try to turn it off and on uh, via the the website here. Um, if I turn this off, and right now you can see stand light is this one here. If I turn this off, that'll force this off even if the door is on. And if I turn it back on, you'll see it comes on just fine. And of course, I still do have the remote here. And with the remote, I can change the colors and I can get as fancy as I want to get, really. Almost a little too fancy. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. The, uh, the refrigerator door for your uh, fish tank. A little bit of do-it-yourself, some leftover alarm sensors, and uh, hey, pretty nifty.